Hello and welcome to the newest episode of Jaybird TV. What is going on, everyone? It's great to see you. And by see you, I mean you see me. Because if I could see you in my camera, that would be very weird. But nevertheless, it is great to be making a video. I know it's been a little while. It's been about a week and a half since my last posting. I just wanted to, you know, reconnect, give you all an update, let you know what's going on in my life. Uh, the reason for the delay in, in the videos, you know, and also a pretty funny story that accompanied the, uh, the story that I'm about to unravel to you. So, I'm not climbing. I'm not climbing because of an injury that I have received. And it is my ankle. My ankle is fucked up. It is messed up. It is, uh, it's got some damage to it. It's got some damage. Three dislocated joints, compound fracture, multiple other fractures. And I'm sure you're wondering, how? Oh, how'd you mess it up, man? What'd you do? Here's the thing about most of the people watching, I know you're all climbers. So we fall all the time. We fall all the time on our ankles, on our feet, boom, eight foot fall, 10 foot fall, most times we're fine. I've fallen thousands of times climbing, never hurt myself. This is from a trampoline, guys. This is from a trampoline. This is from a childhood device that my family had and I jumped down like a billion times. And I did the dumbest things ever, like can you do a double backflip and you fly off and you're fine. And I was on there and I was like, how high can I jump? I'm so big and strong now, I'm so old. And so I'm jumping on there and I'm like, here we go. And I kick down as hard as I can. I'm flying up in the air and I'm like, wow, I'm getting really high in the air. And my momentum starts to go forwards and I'm like, okay, all right. And I look down and you know that metal edge with the springs, you know, the outside of the tram? That's about approximately where it looked like I was coming down. So what do you do? You uh, take the splits, you know, and uh, ruin yourself downtown. Do you uh, just like lay down and take it? I don't know. I chose to bail, uh, to aim for the ground. So I tried to throw my body off to the side. It worked. I landed on the ground, but when I planted my feet, my left foot planted, my body turned, Wee! my foot stayed right where it was. Oh no. So my foot looked like a, looked like this, looks like that, looked like this. Pretty gnarly. If you want to see a photo, I'm not going to put it in here. Uh, just PM me or leave a comment below and I'll show it to you. It's gnarly. But yeah, it's messed up. So I guess I don't know how long I'm going to be out of the game. Um, I hope it's a speedy recovery. I really hope so. Um, there was something very exciting I was actually about to do on the 30th. To, I was going to fly to South Africa for rock climbing and do a bunch of rad climbs since I'm in such good climbing shape. But it looks like that's not on the docket for this month. Uh, healing is on the docket. So I'm all casted up. I'm all, I'm all bandaged up right now. I don't know if you can see that. Yep. And uh, I'm using these guys. I'm using old Crutcherouskis. Um, they're great. It's great to be able to walk. That's for sure. Uh, I mean walk. <laughs> it's fun to be able to do an assisted hobble. That's pretty great. Uh, yeah, so there's a pretty funny story that accompanies these crutches here. I'd love to tell you all. So, so my family recently moved downtown Grand Rapids, where I'm from. And we moved in these dope new apartments. They're super nice. There's like a pool. There's like a lobby. You feel like you're in a hotel. But there's all these doors, these big heavy metal doors everywhere, and you need one of these to open it. Beep, beep, door opens. Pretty cool, right? Pretty secure. Uh, not cool if you don't have one, because you can literally get stuck in the stairwell, and then you can just kind of hang out until someone comes in or you call somebody. But uh, yeah, pretty secure. So my family's in the process of moving in. We're moving boxes, we're getting U-Hauls, 
loading stuff up, moving couches and all that. All that jazz that accompanies the moving process. So, so my mom gets a big all U-Haul load and has movers and has a friend helping her and she comes in the apartment and I'm calmly sitting and reading, my leg elevated as instructed, and she asks me, hey, can you help us move? My first reaction is that of surprise and confusion. Uh, yes, I, I can help you. Did, what do you want me to do? You want me to cheer you on, boost your morale? Yeah, move that box, move that couch, move it again, put it over there. I don't know, I could do that, I can yell, right? And she goes, no, well you get all the doors for us. Cause you know, the movers are like, you know, holding couches and shit like that, you know, they're moving stuff. So can you get the doors for us? And I thought that was pretty reasonable. I was like, oh, of course, yeah, I, I can get the doors, yeah. So I crutch out there and I'm, I'm looking at all the doors and the movers are pretty smart. They've propped them all open. So not only do you not have to use the key to get in, but you don't have to open the door. You can just kind of waltz in carrying your 18,000 boxes. So I'm like, that's smart. Good for you guys. So I'm kind of confused, like, okay, how do I help? I sure can't carry anything. Uh, that's for sure, I can't even walk on my foot. So uh, what, do you want me, what do you want me to do? You mean, anything, anything, right? So she goes, oh, will you get the elevator for us? Will you, will you, get, will you get the elevator for us? And so I'm like, you want me to stand there and like press the elevator? Like a 1950s doorman? And she's like, yeah, it'll be that much faster. We don't have to wait for it. Okay, I mean, I see some logic behind it, but these are like state of the art elevators. I mean, these things are, are very fast. They're, like, I'm serious guys. I mean, you press it and that puppy's down there in like five seconds. I mean, it's kind of nice actually, but anyways, so I'm like, sure, sure. Yeah, I'll, I will, uh, I'll be the doorman. So guys, I kid you not, for about four and a half hours, I am standing in front of the elevator. I did wisen up and move a chair in there. And then I sat in front of the elevator for about, about that time, uh, about four and a half hours. And here's the funny part, right? So I'm just sitting there, bing! All right, cool, watch them go up. And, uh, and the door will close, you know what I mean? Like you move, they're trying to move stuff in there and the door will close. So they're like, oh, can you hold it for us? And I'm in this chair, so I can't reach it. And I get the bright idea. I'll put my crutch in the door. <laughs> so <laughs> jam it in there. And then when the elevator door tries to close, it bounces off this and then it stays open. So I'm feeling pretty ingenious. I'm sitting there with my crutch in there. And, uh, and then two guys come down the stairs, you know, it was a little while later, and they're like, what are you doing, man? And I was like, uh, holding the elevator? They, they asked me to do it. And these guys are like, we've been pressing the button for like 20 minutes, <laughs> trying to get the elevator to come, but it wouldn't come because my crutch is in the doorway. So these dudes were just like appalled and I just felt kind of bad. I'm like, oh, sorry guys. So I just, Kept holding the elevator for our movers, but uh, that, was, that was pretty funny. So yeah, interesting, interesting stuff going on. The walking, the moving about is kind of hard. I'm, I'm relearning, I'm taking baths, can't shower, stuff like that. So I feel like a little kid again, it's kind of weird. If you've, if you've gone through this, uh, you know the pain, you know the pain. So I'm finding things out like I can kayak. That's pretty cool. Uh, upper body workout. I can work out actually. Um, and you know, if you're in a situation like me and you're like, how do you work out? Let me know. I'll do a video on uh, good workouts to do for the, the injured or the handicapped or however you'd like to word it. The people who can't use all their things all the way. So yeah, that's an update. That's an update for me guys. So what does it mean for what I'm creating? Uh, these videos that I'm making? It means that you all don't know what to expect. Whoa, what's coming next? Is it gonna be climbing facts? Is it gonna be more stories? Is it gonna be someone else climbing? There's only one way to find out, and that is to watch. So let me know what you think. 
Um, let me know what you think of this cool light. This is my sister's. She's let me use it, which is very nice. Makes me look even more dashingly handsome. So I appreciate that. And yeah, stay posted, everyone. Um, please, I really value your feedback. Let me know what you think. Let me know what, what you'd like to see. Um, if you have any cool ideas, just, just let, it, let your boy know. He'd be very interested to hear them. And if you're going climbing, climb hard, climb for me. If you're not, enjoy your day. Uh, it's, it's a blessing to be alive. It's a blessing to be able to, uh, to see and to walk and things like that. So treasure it, treasure it as so. And have a great day, everyone. Peace.